Hello, my wonderful Leos. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest out. All right, so let's get started. We have the dragon, power and strength with truth. Uh, it's kind of like the moment of truth here, someone finally realizing um, what they did wrong. Uh, it's almost, uh, if you've ever had that moment where you really thought uh, it was the other person's fault and then suddenly you see uh, in a moment just by a thought that, oh, I can see their side and I can see what I've actually done wrong here. So it's kind of like that epiphany moment of sudden accountability. It was my fault. Well, yeah, it was my fault, but I blamed you. And just being near you is intoxicating here. Yeah, someone's uh, having a hard time dealing with their emotions and the fact that uh, they know how powerful this bond is and the fact that they've let it go for so long, uh, always thinking it was the other person is devastating. Two of Swords, overall energy. This is about indecision here, but when we get the Two of Swords, it's also about knowing that we have to make a decision. And if we stay in the indecisive mode, we are technically making that decision. And that's what I see here is someone really panicked already. The fact that they've uh, kind of left things in limbo. Ten of Swords, the Knight of Cups, Chariot, and the Nine of Cups for your energy. You are about to get something truly special that you deserve here. Wish fulfillment is headed your way after a long period of suffering. Uh, some of you have gone through heartbreak or betrayal here, an ending that was very unpleasant, and you feel like uh, it really hits you hard, okay? Knight of Cups is here to represent that maybe there were some things in this situation that was triggering things that you've gone through. And you've overcome this, right? There's a lot of personal growth here, and you're being blessed by this. Okay, so also with an ending, we do have a new door opening. And uh, with the chariot, the possibilities are endless here. So this is a good week for you. A pivotal moment, possibly from the last 10 to 12 months. This has been going on. Okay, Page of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Swords for their energy. Yeah, they're feeling impulsive at this time, but a little bit restless as well in the Nine of Wands. Um, there is hesitation due to them feeling cautious about their feelings because suddenly they're being very humbled. Uh, there is something that they realize that they've done here or that has been exposed that they just didn't see before. It's almost like they just didn't see your side of things and suddenly... You know, they see where they could have been um, doing something here that really turned the tables or turned this thing in the wrong direction. And they didn't really want to look at it before. But now it's kind of like, okay, I can't run from the truth any longer. I need to really do something about this. Tell me the Knight of Swords, please. Temperance. Yeah, they're trying to take control back over their life. I will say they're having trouble dealing with the ending of things here. They haven't been able to move on, nor can they stop thinking about what has happened and you. And feeling like they can't get their life back in order. It's like impossible. Uh, tell me the Page of Cups. Judgment. Yeah, it's, it's like this feeling larger than themselves pulling them towards doing the right thing or speaking up, something that they really don't want to do or makes them uncomfortable. All right, in the past, we have Nine of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on here. Empress and the Five of Wands. So a lot of conflict. It looks like you guys couldn't get on the same page due to uh, outside circumstances or a specific person here, somebody in the mix that was requiring a lot of their attention or um, that they were responsible for financially if that's not the case uh it doesn't have to be because the empress five of wands it was like a struggle to really get this person to uh want to commit or want to nurture this pay attention to this connection at all it felt like there was so many other things and i'm reading for a lot of people so it can be many things here especially with the nine of pentacles this can be confidence even uh, the lack of confidence that they had to really um, want to commit. So running away from responsibility or commitment, even though their heart is wanting them to, or finances here. 
somebody really focused on building their life up, but doing it by themselves. But I see that the foundation is the same for everyone. This person uh, tends to go solo or they like to work alone. Uh, kind of doesn't feel like they need anyone uh, because of some past experiences that they've had where they felt neglected or they felt like they couldn't count on anyone in their life and they've always been let down and they feel like they've been the one that has always had to support or be the person that is uh, kind of the scapegoat here. So I see that they've really turned um, the direction of what they want when it comes to love as being uh, just independent, that they don't need somebody else uh, to make them happy. And they really conceal this very well. Some of them uh, can be very uh, avoidant or detached here, but I see that they can come off very charming or come off as if they're interested and uh, very flirtatious energy as well. But they do this to really stroke their ego, but also uh, to get their needs met. You know, it kind of fulfills a little void that they have within themselves. But it's kind of like you had them hook, line, and sinker. They weren't really expecting for them to start having these feelings of wanting commitment or wanting to nurture this. There are some fantasies here that they had as well of wanting to build a future. Some of them were actually thinking about what a life would be like to have children with you or a fantasy of, uh, you know, living together, something like that. Ten of the five of wands. King of wands. Yeah, it had to be their way. And you knew it. It's kind of like king of wands, six of swords, two of pentacles. It was difficult for them to kind of see your side. Uh, it was always their way, but I also see Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles. You know, that's really somebody that it's hard for them to get to an easier place unless you make them feel that they're right in the situation or that you just drop it immediately and uh, move towards conversations that are easier, not very serious, uh, or some of you actually acting interested in just their life and this could be in conversations very difficult when they would talk about themselves a lot or they wouldn't really ask a lot about you or seem interested in your life as well. So it became very painful because it felt like this person at times could be very selfish. Uh, tell me the Empress. Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's kind of like in the end you had this feeling that uh, they would suddenly detach or they would end up leaving in some way or another. And for others of you, if there is a feminine figure in the mix, a specific person that is in between this connection, they knew eventually they would have to detach and leave that. But that would mean that their finances or um, something that they had worked really hard towards would be taken from them. And so there is some fear here of walking away from that. Eight of Swords, Fool, Devil, and the Nine of Swords for the challenge. Okay, yeah, a lot of fears and doubts because uh, it really started to uh, overwhelm you because you weren't getting straight answers and you really started to feel that you were just here for their pleasure or um, to appease them in some way. And uh, this became very heartbreaking for you, Eight of Swords. It made you start doubting yourself as well. And I see that with communication, yeah, you know, sometimes it can be brutal. If they don't really get their way, they can cause fights or arguments. And uh, if that's not the case, this can be minor things. Especially with the King of Wands, Five of Wands, it becomes an aggressive feeling. Uh, even if they're being passive aggressive, it makes you feel insecure or that you don't matter. So it really felt sometimes that this person could gaslight you and turn things around on you. And it felt very unfair. So you kind of learned how to navigate through conversations with this person. Because I see with the full card here, it felt like you really had to act as if uh, nothing was wrong at times. Or that your feelings didn't matter. That you weren't bothered even though you were. So you had to suppress what you felt. And uh, that made you very trapped here in the Eight of Swords. Made you feel as well... Um, fearful of the future here. Is there any future with this person? Will they ever change? Um, what is their issue? Even though you knew what was going on in their situation, a lot of you, you just felt like you had to do your due diligence or com completely make them comfortable during this situation. And so even if you were uncomfortable, you had to forego 
you trying to uh, make yourself feel better or get some information from them just so that they would be okay. Uh, Seven of Cups, Justice, and the Star card for what they're about to do. Like I said, wish fulfillment is here, okay? Karmic retribution is coming and in the way that you least expect. And the impossible is now possible. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.